Good morning guys, I'm Hiski, welcome to my YouTube video and uh, thought I'd start off a little early today <laughs> I want to show you what I picked up last night I went to one of my regular e-waste haunts and I found a subwoofer a big subwoofer it's um I guess it's it's probably yeah well I don't know is it 12 12 inches is it 12 and a half inches I'm not sure but um it's that Miller and Chrysler V75 and uh, I reckon it's been because I went to this e-waste place uh, I think on oh, when was it Tuesday earlier this week I think it's been in the rain for about five or six days and um, yeah it was in a bin I had to grab it um, but the thing is I did a bit of research last night and this is an amazing subwoofer apparently I've seen nothing but glowing reviews and people still in, you know, it's over 20 years old now and people still saying, should I buy this? And everyone's saying, yeah, mate, yeah, mate, you should get it. It's an excellent, it's an excellent sub. So to be honest, I'm not a, I don't really, I'm not an audiophile. Um, as long as it sounds good, that's all that I care about. Um, but yeah, I started thinking to myself, oh, if it's that good and if it works, maybe, um, maybe I could make another case for it. But then I thought to myself, I ain't, no, I'm not going to go to all that trouble. This is just a temporary thing. If you've been watching my channel, I'm actually building a home cinema at the moment. And I'm using a lot of the equipment, is stuff that I find and repair. A lot of the building materials that I'm using to build that home cinema is coming from the dump. And um, this could kind of fit in with the theme. I've already got quite a few subs, and they're pretty good. I've got a nice Yamaha, I've got a, um, a Jamo. But the other thing is, I've got a clips that is busted. It needs a new amplifier, a power board, and I have a JBL. Same deal. It's, I'm actually making a video of me fixing the, uh, the amplifier at the moment. So I was thinking to myself, maybe I could actually, if I can't fix them, maybe I can actually, I've been told by quite a few people is, you know, you can pull the amp off another one or at least buy another. They kept saying, just go to a, you know, a site and buy an amplifier and stick it on. It'll be fine. I'm thinking I'm not going to spend. I had a look and the, the amps are like 200 bucks plus or whatever. I want to stuff that. <laughs> I was thinking to myself, maybe I can just pull one off an existing sub and stick it on um, one of those subs that are busted. But, you know, I'm actually hoping that this might work now. I mean, this could be a good thing. Let me just get this ladder here so I can set you up on here. There we go. I'll turn it around. This might this might be good if it works. That's what this video is going to be about. We're going to turn it on. You can see all the water damage. Oh, let's, let's have a look at this speaker. There we go. Pull the grill off. <laughs> She's definitely seen some rain. Look at this. Look at all the blistering here. It's all dirty and muddy. The speaker's obviously being wet. But um, who knows? It's dry now. Well, at least um, the speaker and the, the case seem to be dry. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is take this down. Let's open her up because I want to dry it out first before I start turning things on. Um, let's take it down pull things apart, take the back amp off and maybe this speaker as well and then I'll stick it in the sun. Unfortunately, there is no sun today. <laughs> but tomorrow we're forecast to have a really sunny day. So at least by opening it up we can let some air get in there and kind of, you know, that'll you know get any moisture out of there. But uh, that's what the video is going to be about guys. So let's get started.
All right, here we go. Guess what? The sun's out. We have sunshine, so I'm gonna quickly pull this thing apart uh, and uh, basically sit it outside and just get it dry. Pretty much is dry. I reckon it is dry, but um, better to be safe than sorry. Oh, a lot of stuffing in there. I don't think I'm going to touch that. I mean, I've got my hand inside there and I can't feel any moisture. I can't feel any wetness. Let me just feel down the bottom. Nothing. It's dry as. I can feel the speaker. I, no, that's not the speaker. There's a bit of framing in there as well. All right, so let's have a quick look at this. I mean, should I undo this? Why the hell not? Let's do it. Okay, what are you covering? Oh. Well, can't see anything that um, looks like it's blown. I'm kind of just looking at this here. I don't know what this... Ah, oh, this would be the fuse. I'd say that's the fuse. Let's have a look at the other side. Yep, yeah, that's the fuse. Actually, let's actually, let's, um... That's it there. Let's, um, pull that apart. Pull that out. What do you think? Is this going to be blown? Looks good to me. Let's stick a multimeter on there, I guess, but I don't think so. I think that looks okay. Let's just put that back. Wish I had a, um, maybe I'm gonna, listen, what I might quickly do, what I might quickly do is just fire up the air compressor. And um, then I can blow that out because it looks a bit dirty inside there, to be completely honest. I don't know. You can't see it. But, um, I'm just going to do that. That fuse back. There we go. Alright, so just giving this a bit of a visual inspection. I could listen, I could undo that, pull this plug out, make it a bit easier to move, but um, these wires to the fuse are still attached. I think I'm just gonna carry it out like this. Um, Let's pull the speaker out. But uh, just having a look at this board, can't see anything. There's no raised caps. It's looking okay. I don't know what this is though. Can you see there's like a bit of paper here underneath one of these main capacitors? Never seen that before. It's really weird. But, um, all right. Okay, so let's take the, the front off, the, the speaker I should say. In fact, let's stay at this angle and I'll just spin this around. That's probably easier. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this speaker is just attached with some terminals. There we 
go. I think it's only four screws, so how come it's not fallen out? It's given, but I don't know if I I'm wondering now, do they actually glue these speakers in as well as... Listen, I don't think that the other end of this... I'm not going to actually pull this out, to be honest with you. It's not because it's too difficult. It's because I honestly can't see how any water would have got to the other side of that speaker. You know? Um, yeah, so because all the stuffing inside is all dry and this is in the middle of all that stuffing, so... Let's just leave that. All right, so that's good enough for me. Listen, what I'm also going to do, um, I don't care. I'm just going to put this, actually, while I've got this air compressor hose here and it's got a bit of air left in it, let's add a bit of gunk came out then. Alright. Yeah, I don't mind. I'm going to put the, um, I'm actually going to put the the grill back on because um, I'm going to face it to the sun. I mean, that's not going to, that's not going to make any difference. I know it's shading the speaker, but it's still going to heat it up. But what it will do is stop any, you know, birds shitting from the trees above and that's just going to be on my deck down here and it's quite possible that a bird could perch above it and take a nice big dump. Alright, so I'm going to move this like it is now, stick it on the deck, it's got a nice sunny deck, you can see all the bird shit on the deck can't you, <laughs> where those wheels are, let's actually just stick it out there somewhere. I think I'm going to have to do the, um, I think I'm going to have to do the, the electronics first, the, um, the power board, the amplifier I should say. Alright, so I'm just going to leave this out here for half an hour, maybe an hour. I mean, this out of box. No, I'll leave it out for an hour or so. At least it's going to kind of dry out that out of box. What I might be able to do is actually sand that with a, with a sander and get that ugliness off the edge there. And get this gimbal to play. There we go. In fact, I reckon I could get this, this can, this um, you know, out of, out of box to come up quite nicely. So we'll see. I'm not going to spend too much time on it, but um, yeah, man, it's really hot now. So we'll leave this go. Alrighty, so it's been about over an hour anyway. This is pretty hot. I'm sure it's going to be okay. But uh, one thing that I did just, I have noticed, I don't think it's a problem though, is this here, it's, I thought it was bulgy, but it's, I'm not sure, it might just be the, the cap casing that's kind of separated. Um, this one's fine. 
this one just feels like there's a little bit of a bubble on the top so I'm not sure if that's just a, a dodgy capacitor but um, I don't think it is but um, if not I'm gonna make a note of that and if we get any weird sounds when we play this if it actually starts mind you we will probably swap that out it's a 10,000 microfarad capacitor 50 volt so I'm going to um just quickly button that back up and flip it over Alright, should get some sun now. So I'll leave this like that for an hour and then we're going to turn it on. Alrighty, so, so this is my home theatre that I'm slowly building on YouTube at the moment. If you're interested, check it out. Got these seats here at the dump. And um, in fact, if we have a look, we've got a bunch of speakers that I've found at the dump. I've got videos of me finding these, by the way. But um, over here we have, what's this amp? It's a Yamaha, um, it's an RX V1900. So that's what we're going to test our subwoofer on. Down the bottom there we have a Yamaha subwoofer, which is it's a really nice little punchy subwoofer. quite like that a lot. But um, over here, over here, um, down the bottom, I'm not going to be able to show you, but uh, that is a Jamo, a Jamo subwoofer. I think it was about $1,300 or something like that. Uh, we have a 150 inch 16.9 screen happening here. And all of this, you know, the soffits and so forth that I'm, for the, for the lights and starfield ceiling, etc. I've got most of this stuff at the dump and I'm building this. So yeah, if you're interested, please subscribe and check that out. But let's go and have a look at our sub. It has been in the sun now for oh, a bit over an hour. It's pretty hot out here, so I think this will be fine. If we have a bit of a look, there's no tearing or nothing's been eating this. That looks like it's in good nick. And in fact, if I put my hand there, that's really, really warm. So I'm happy with that. I'm just gonna roll with that. Let's um, put that together, take her inside, plug it in. See if it works. Right. First of all, I'll just turn it around. I'm going to turn it on. Hopefully, there's. Oh, what, by the looks of things, we do have a. Um, we've got an an on light, standby light, I should say. So let's just see if that, without plugging anything in, let's just. Um, I mean, like from the amp, I should say. Let's just see if that light turns on once I plug it in. Oh, did you hear that? I heard that. <laughs> awesome. And we got a light. So it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I have no idea where we have to plug this thing into. It'll either be that. Or that left slash mono and right um, listen what I might do is come back tonight and do it so that it's nice and dark in here I may even throw a movie on this screen and see if it works before I go away I've just pulled the I've just pulled the um, the, the grill off and I have pulled the, the, the cable out of the back of the other amp. Let's just plug this in and see. Oh, that sounds good. That sounds promising. I've got a good feeling about this. 
Excellent. Okay. We'll come back tonight. Let's see if she's a goer. Ah, who the hell am I kidding? <laughs> I can't wait till tonight. It's still daytime. I can't wait all this time. I've got to see if this works. So what I've done is I've queued a movie up. I can queue them up in my bedroom. And uh, it's actually got a HDMI. It's, that's where my HTPC lives. So I've got a HDMI cable that comes out here to my projector. So I've got something queued up. We'll see how we go with this bit of footage. Um, yeah, by the way. Oh, it's sounding good. Oh, yes, look at that vibration. Yes! Yes! We have a winner. Oh, look at that guy. Absolutely, this is awesome. This sub sounds amazing. Oh man, this sounds epic. This sub is the best sub that I've actually got now. Amen, sister. Bless all of them. Man, that's awesome. Computer lights. That sounded epic. Like, seriously, that is the best subwoofer that I actually own now. Um, the Jammo is good. Um, that is, wow. Like, seriously, I've never understood why people buy so many subs, especially for small rooms. And they I mean, wow. I can kind of... I'm a little bit more on this side now. I think I'm going to, listen, I'm going to have to have three subs, I reckon. I'm going to have one at the front on this side under a speaker, one in the corner under that speaker down there, and I am going to have one, I reckon, at the back row behind my cinema seat. You can see here, this is my JBL. That's the JBL that I'm currently making a video on. I'm trying to fix this one at the moment. It's actually the exact same size by the looks of things. So that's a good thing. <laughs> oh man. Oh wow, I'm blown away. Oh, so that's, I love it when some, you know, plan comes together. That's excellent. Um, I have a new sub. I didn't pay anything for it. Found it at the dump. <laughs> it was in the rain for a week and it works great. So. The fact that I'm so happy with the sound, I may actually kind of go to a bit more trouble now and try and clean it, clean this up, sand it back, get these blisters out. Um, you know, really sand it back. I've I've been I've done a bit of research. You can actually bring this back if you seal the MDF or the particle board if it's expanded. If you seal it with some kind of sealer and then paint it, it could work. So I think that's what I'm going to do. That'll be a future video. If you're interested, please subscribe. But more, more so, if you're into like watching people build their home cinemas, there's not many people that build them on YouTube. Um, a lot of people actually 
you know, show the finished product after they've built it. But if you're right into all of this kind of stuff, please subscribe and watch me do this. Give us some um, egging on. But uh, there you go, guys. <laughs> that was awesome. So I'm going to call this one. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.